Hello guys and welcome to episode 4 of our Spain campaign here in Victoria 2 with the historical flavor mod. So in the last episode we beat down the Americans in the Mexican-American War, which was good fun. It was actually kind of horrible. Yeah, what am I saying? It was not fun at all. It was horrible because they kept shitting on my navies, which meant that thousands and thousands of men died at sea. The game still claims I can mobilize the same amount of troops though. I'm not sure how that works, seeing as they all fucking died in the Atlantic, but uh, you know. Details, details. Yeah, you can see the uh, the amount of brigades I can have took a beating, but we are we are we were, blah, blah, we are recovering. However, I ended the last episode by being confused about the fact that uh, the Americans still have course on uh, their manifest destiny land over here, which I obviously don't approve of. So I look in the files, and I'm pretty sure that the culprit is this little core right here, uh, because. Supposedly, the Mexicans need to ha control all their cores in order to, to be able to refute Manifest Destiny. And I guess that also counts this little chunk of land. However, I think we can deal with it, because there is a nation here called Chiapas, which also has cores up here, but basically we can release Chiapas and then just leave that out to dry, because yeah, Chiapas does not have cores on anything else in our land, so we can release that without having to pay any infamy for shite we would have to reincorporate later and I guess we're kind of cheesing the system aren't we because we are going to lose to infamy for this S hmm. and I have zero infamy at the moment so I wouldn't be losing anything uh, okay okay hmm thunk 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 think 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 hmm yeah I need to spend my infamy on something don't I what? What do I do? I refuse to release a nation and supposedly lose infamy, but then don't actually lose any infamy. I guess I guess the time has come then to invade uh, the two Sicilies. It seems that the universe just can't help itself, and it does demand that I proclaim war against these cunts. And so I guess that's what we're going to have to do, which means, oh man, even more months spent not having an infamy. Oof, that is that is very unfortunate ravioli right there. Come on, game, let me let me do the thing. Uh, decrease relations, yes, and then ooh, a new episode of the Revolutions podcast just popped up on my phone. I, you might even have heard the little shake there. Nice, we get rid of some of those uh, things. Let's get a state. Quite nice. Let us do that. Uh, what happened here? Ooh! The United States? Yeah, because I noticed that this state all of a sudden became British instead of uh, Hudson Bay Territory. I guess Mexico is not the only state that has... Uh, that lacks territories. I mean, can Britain even win this? Maybe they can. The, yeah, the Americans took it. This is... Holy... Wait. Core, oh, core states. You get cores on this? Oh! Now this is some potentially very spicy ravioli. Like, if the British can take that, that'll cuck the Americans from the Pacific permanently. From some unfortunate experiences in a multiplayer uh, game of Victoria 2, which, for the record, is like it's it's the only multiplayer where I, where I have ever you know legitimately rage quit. <laughs> uh, I was playing as the United States and I, I lost the Oregon Territory. The British player was being very sneaky and was like, Yeah man, we're we're good friends, right? We're gonna do the we're gonna do the normal border and then he turned on me. And I was originally fine with that, because obviously you as the Americans you can keep the course on these territories. But then I guess that was not the case. The next session of the multiplayer, my course were gone for some reason. And um and that, uh, that that was my breaking point. Because then I tried to play as the CSA, but then, you know, I'd intentionally not turn the Texas into a slave state, and so my borders were fucking... I ended up 
getting a lot of shit from a lot of the players like, oh, you ruined the balance of power, you ruined the game. And I was like, okay, fuck you guys then. Oh, yes, I shouldn't talk about this. This this, this is obviously a, a wound in my soul that has not yet healed. <laughs> uh, uh, but yeah. Go, go, Britain, I guess. Are you not mobilizing there, uh, Britain? Oh, shit. Well, they're pushing in. Well, presumably the British can... Um, well, I don't know. Oh, oh, I got busted. I don't know. I guess it'll be interesting to see. Yeah, no, the British are pushing in, so they aren't. They do have armies up here. Huh. Well, there we are. Uh, we have infamy, uh, which means I can drop some of that infamy by releasing Chiapas, which we will do. Double check that I'm not accidentally releasing someone I shouldn't be. Uh, Chiapas, indeed. Is the lad we are releasing? Get rid of him, and then just straight up giving him give him independence. Release vassals, grant Chiapas independence. We lose ten prestige. Really? That sucks. But yeah, this little lad, this glorious absolute monarchy, Chiapas, is now independent. And so hopefully Mr. Mexico will be like, hey, hey there, little boy. Want to be incorporated into the glorious Mexican dictatorship? I'm sure he would love that. Uh, you want to... Nah, man, I kind of planned on... I, I kind of want you to get annexed, so... But, okay. Oh, no! <laughs> there's 3% there's Spanish here. Well, well I, I guess they'll, they'll get to join the Empire again later. And at the end of the day, this whole place will turn into a vice royalty, and so... Uh, yeah, I don't know, I don't know. Mexico, are you... I don't know, eh, let's give Mexico his time. He can... Um, he can, you know... He can do that in, its, in his own time. Another thing I need to check in the event is... Um, whether or not I can ever get my hands on this place. Because I do wonder if the events... I, I do want to purchase Belize before I turn this place into a vice royalty, but I do wonder if... Um, if the Mosquito Kingdom events are not suited well for this whole uh, event chain. Seeing as the Mosquito Kingdom is a rather recent addition to HFM, and so I'm not entirely sure if the events relating to the place are... Um, actually, you know, actually take... Mm, uh, the Spanish reconquest into account. Uh, regardless, let's see, do I... Nah, I guess we can actually keep a bit of a garrison at home. Are we any closer to healthcare? No, no healthcare these days. The conservatives are... Yeah, now we're going to need quite a lot more um, militancy, probably like four or five before we can get anything done there. Alright, so I'm going to start the war against the two Sicilies, uh, just to see if my allies can achieve anything. I can't really get a way to walk over there, um, but yeah, basically I need to build some transports first, but I do want to start uh, hurting them with my... Uh, also, yeah, I'm allied to Belgium now for some reason. I don't know, they ask me. Alright, so the uh, Sicilians decided to simplify things to some extent by... Uh, landing in my lands. So, let's put that to use. We just shredded their navy over there. That's very nice. Well, parts of it anyways. Yeah, eh, let's let them have some of those transport ships. Let's let them keep them to some extent. Just so that they can ship more units over here. Because obviously fighting them here is going to be a lot more straightforward. Vietnam? Yeah, I don't know. I, I, I have run out of ideas for people to spare. So, don't... Yeah, I don't know. The, the Americans got into uh, Thailand before I did, so I guess I'm grabbing Vietnam. It's going to be conquered at some point by someone else, so it's not magnificently useful, but it's going to have to do. So why are you transport boats so fucking dead? Go hang out in Cadiz and brace yourself for another crossing, because I could do with some of that... 
cavalry that's hanging out in uh, the Americas at the moment. All right, here we are. We should be able to just absolutely annihilate the memers, and we did. Stack wipe them, and that's a decent chunk of their army dead. Now if the transports could get going, why are they stuck? Ah, I can't actually get resources. Ah, but the Brazil, <laughs> the Belgians and the Brazilians are doing their part. But look at that, actually. Yeah, they're even blocking the straits. That's pretty smart. Good on you, Brazil, <laughs> being a useful little boy. Lovely. Prussia is always, as always, is just sitting there. He's not even sitting. You have transport, you know. You could actually help here. You can't. You don't have to just sit here and do literally nothing. Also, I see you getting killed over there. Let's see if we can intervene. Oh, and we won the war. Oh, I guess Prussia took war leadership or something. Uh, yes. Okay. There we are. Glorious uh, Spanish Sicilia. Uh, something, and we still have pretty low infamy. The Mexicans have yet to push into Chiapas, which I don't understand, but you know, we're just gonna have to hope that they figure. Oh, look at that! Ah! And Britain did the thing! Look at that! British Idaho. How about that? British Montana. Well, <laughs> the United States are not having that much of a good day. Oh man, I wonder if we could get up to some shenanigans in the Civil War. That would be fun. But uh, the CSA does not even have any cores yet, so... Let's not think too hard about that. Okay, well, that was a pretty straightforward war. I didn't... Well, I, I guess I did kill their armies up here, but... But really, that wasn't that hard. I should... I should get some Clipper Convoy factories. Actually, I should get any factories. Oh shit, I just inherited some factories. Wait, I, I think that's the game hinting to me that I need to get some shit built. I did notice I have a decent chunk of iron lying around and so I think we're going to pick up some... Um, let's see, yeah, I think this province can do steel and glass and coal. I mean, um, liquor. And I guess we can slap in some cement as well. Just to use those coal provinces. Also, the, yeah, this place has sulfur, so this place should really get some... Um, fertilizer. Although, I guess I'll... Yeah, I'll, I'll build some factories off-screen, I think. Because I don't think you guys want to see all that. But yeah, I'm... Prob it's probably time to get this shit started. Okay, so we can convert Spanish Al Reef into a state that didn't take long. Do we have any migrants to Ifni? No? Yeah, it's, a, it's a semi desert, isn't it? So no one's ever. Well, no, it's got a good life rating, so maybe. I'm not actually entirely sure. Is it life rating or is it um, the terrain type that decides. Yeah, no, it, it probably is the terrain type, actually. Yeah, immigration attraction minus 150. That is pretty unspicy. Uh, well, let's get some factories going here. They produce fish and fish. Okay. It, cannery is the only thing I know of that makes or use of fish, but yeah, canneries can be useful. I don't know. I guess we'll pick them up. I should probably pick up some railroads soon as well. We yeah, we do have some terrain that could do with some level one la railroads, farmlands, and shit like that. Uh, let's see, are there any other places I could realistically try and turn into states? I did try Cuba for a while, but still, there are significant Spanish minorities here at this point. Guess we can give it another shot. Yeah, no, no, yeah, that is actually a significantly higher percentage than it was last time, I think. Oh, we're even getting some Spanish over in Hispaniola. I mean, we do have settlement. What do I need, anyways, to get... Uh, what is it called? This is a social reform, is it? Yeah, it is. Oof. Big oof. Um, oh, well. Uh, hey, okay, good. The Mexicans finally did that. Uh, and yes, okay, look, there we are. The Mexicans have 
refuted, or whatever you want to call it, I, I don't remember what it's called, ba basically the Americans don't have course on this shit anymore. It is now rightful Hispanic land. Uh, that means actually I should I should kill Mexico. I did ally Mexico. I was hoping they would, uh, you know, that would encourage them to take down Ch Chiapas. I'm not sure if that made a difference, but regardless, uh, let's see. Wait, are you neutral because you just picked Kimigray power, or yeah, it doesn't look like anyone's focusing on sphering him? So I think we're just going to ditch the alliance. And we'll, uh, we'll do ourselves an invasion. Vet General Narisco Lopez, native Venezuelan general. Well, Venezuela is independent, though. I don't. Well, what am I saying? Venezuela is in revolt. It is in not. It is not in any shape or form actually independent. Uh, was executed by Spanish colonial authorities in Cuba. He had landed with a small group of men trying to incite a revolt that would turn Cuba over to the USA, but failed due to li why would you even put it over to the United States? Like, if you're gonna do anything, you should probably like make it independent. Also, you number, you're about to become a great power again. Yeah, I, I definitely think we need to meme the uh, Mexicans here. I can't have the uh, okay. I mean, they're not actually eh, okay. They're not actually no. No, they're pretty close actually to getting great power again. Come on, Dutch, do do well. Don't don't let the Mexicans become a great power again. I don't need that. Uh, I need glorious victory in in war. Come on, give me colonial points. Thank you. Let's get them and um, make them a puppet. Now I'm pretty sure you can get uh, Mexico as a puppet for free later potentially. But I would like to have them secured, even if it does cost a bit of uh, infamy. Let's see, Hazard... I think these guys can stay. Once again, I need... Actually, the war against Mexico will probably be rather costly. Why are you dying? Lack of maintenance goods. Okay. That's bad. Uh, I guess we really need to make our way over to the Americas, like, right now. Also, I guess this navy needs to move. Yeah, we need to move, 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 move before the entire navy just fucking dies. I guess I'll have to build a new one to get the uh, the other troops over, which kind of... Yeah, this is going to be nasty, because I'm only going to have, like, infantry units to fight this whole war. The Ottoman Empire, eh, well, I'm not sure if I'm actually going to be able to spare the Ottoman Empire, but... Yeah, no, nah, no way I'm actually going to be able to do that. Oh, well. If the Ottomans go communist, as they have a tendency to do, then um, well, we can use that as an opportunity. Also, yeah, I guess this navy should head over to the New World to prepare fighting the Mexicans and reincorporating them. Uh, fuck! Oh shit! Well, whoops, that's unfortunate. I uh, guess we'll just start the war then. <laughs> Fuck, why did that happen so early? Well, everyone... Oh. Oh, no, no, I'm still allied to Prussia, but I kind of don't want to have Prussia in the war. Last time they uh, they took over war leadership, and I'm not a huge fan of that. So I'm going to leave them out this time. Crap, did that shit my relations with the UK up? It did. Feck. Okay, well, so much for trying to purchase Belize. Fuck! <laughs> Fuck! Ah. Ah. And I'm at war with Colombia as well. Well, that's just fucking great, isn't it? <sighs> oh shit! To counter the ravages of Cuban insurgents, Governor General uh, instituted a policy of forced removal of all citizens in the countryside to camps in the cities, this denied sources of supply and places of refuge for the insurgents. We must restore order to Cuba, we must. And to Mexico as well, and uh, my army right now is kind of a meme because it's just basically artillery. Uh, so we're going to have to just rely on brute force and numbers. Let's see, I... Are my plus four generals still alive? Where are you hiding? Uh, 
Okay, so he's on the boats. Are, you, are these boats gonna live? Oh god, they might not actually live. Okay, go to there, just in case you just fucking die on the way. Yeah, these boats are not doing too well, are they? But we just killed an army there, that's good. Keep pushing, I really want to stack wipe that army. We'll see how we're fighting. Oh, my god! Oh, fuck, I forgot to call Brazil. Oh, get in here, deal with the fucking Colombians. Who else was I allied to? Belgium? Did we call Belgium? Get in here, Belgium. I mean, you, 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 no, no, he has a navy. Yeah, look at that. The lad has 13 transports. He can join the glorious invasion of Mexico, you know? Proper thing to spend your time doing that, eh? Ah! Okay, uh, hopefully those guys can hold out. Oh, of course you're gonna go there. Uh, yeah, I know we need to go like this. Survive, my friends. Oh, shit. Jacobins? No! In Spain? Oh, shit, in Spain as well. Uh, good thing we have an army here to deal with that. And these transports are dead, so they are pointless. Uh, I need to build new ones. The game can be a bit odd with that, in the sense that it can... Um, it, uh, it, it might not be able to support your existing units, but sometimes it... Oh, never mind, we won that battle, okay. Yeah, sometimes it might let you build new units, even if you are not technically able to support your existing ones. Policy stand... Uh, yeah, fuck the Spanish. Well, not fuck the Spanish, but... The fact that there are so few Spanish compared to the other ones kind of make me not prioritize them. Right, so they should be dealt with. Do we have uh, rebels? Yeah, we need to sort that out. Good thing I do have a transport navy. Yeah, fuck, I need to deal with this. Brazil, sh can, can, you, can you maybe even just try a bit? Oh, fuck, here they come again. Aye, aye, aye. Okay, this time they might just die. Retreat. Okay, good. At least they live. We can try and get in here with our glorious general. This battle is probably not going to be as mind-blowingly awesome. Well, actually, no, it was pretty good. Yeah. Now, if I can stack wipe this, then uh, we might just be able to turn south. Yeah, the fact that I'm unable to really get any of my forces from Europe over here is rather frustrating. But I think the majority of the Mexicans have been killed at this point. Uh, indeed, they are all dead. Good. Now then... We will focus on memeing the uh, the Colombians to death. Come on, just let me just 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 let me kill you. No, very well. I will kill the smaller army first. I mean that's strategic, regardless. How close are we to uh, glorious reforms? They're yeah, getting uh, yeah, twenty five percent or close to it. So we're not that mind-blowingly far away, yeah, or anymore. But yeah, all of my lads are falling apart. This is no good. Uh, right. Let us kill this army. Yeah. Thank God for plus four attack generals. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. And I guess I do have pretty good military tech. Uh, hey, here comes Belgium. Nice. <laughs> nice. Oh, lovely. Let's do some... Yeah, let's use... I have wondered. Is that port? Yeah, well, once this port gets occupied, I can sit here and have... Um, sh I shouldn't get any attrition, and I should still be able to blockade. I think I'm going to end the episode here, though. Uh, the war is going well. Yes, here we are. The Colombian armies... I mean, if you want to just... No, you don't want out. Okay, very well, then. We're going to have to fight you. But yeah, I do need to get over here, because I think these rebels can give independence to Haiti, and I don't want that. Well, maybe maybe not in states, actually. I'm not entirely sure how that works. Regardless, thank you so much for watching this episode, and until next time, bye.